Hi, this is Andrew Krug, the Global Community Manager for Niantic Labs, and you're listening to the Agent Academy Podcast. Today's podcast is brought to you by Audible. Get a free audiobook download and 30-day free trial at www.audibletrial.com slash agentacademy. Over 180,000 titles to choose from for your iPhone, Android, Kindle or MP3 player. And now, welcome to the Agent Academy. Downloading latest Intel package. Welcome back. I was getting worried about you. Agent Academy, episode number 69, recorded on December 13, 2019. I'm Agent Goonie Guy. Agent Dewey J. And we're here for another episode on this wonderful day of december the 13th which is a friday the 13th so things are going to go drastically wrong or maybe they already have i had a tooth pulled earlier today so it already went bad that was bad scheduling on your part i think (laughs) i fought it but they said that's the only time you can get it i'm like okay whatever (laughs) it's like uh, taking a plane trip uh getting a tooth pulled or what what happened you got a tooth pulled? Yeah, yeah tooth oh, pulled. Fun. I got too many of them. I hear that. Well, now you have one less. Yeah. You gonna hide like some secret stuff in there yeah. now? Yeah, that's that's where we keep the anomaly plants, right back there. <laughs> you heard it. Go find it. Go find it in his mouth. <laughs> Just. But we're gonna be talking about some stuff going on this week, last week, coming up, uh, holidays and events happening we have some information on that as well as current events going on right now mm-hmm. so i don't know if you want to talk about your week or not but do no, it anyway not, yeah i'll do it anyway uh it's been kind of a light week for ingress been um we actually kind of laid back in the cell for a little bit and then we looked and we're like oh crap we're losing so we had to kick it in and do some fielding so yeah we won another one uh but we're seeing some new some new players, and I don't know about you. I I saw a lot of players disappear, and I'm wondering if that's because of uh, Wayfair and uh, those pokey guys being able to submit. I think that's that's a possibility. I think there's also a little bit of just holiday. Yeah, it's cold outside. Yeah, it's cold outside, and people are just getting busy doing you know life. Mm-hmm. and things like that uh, maybe the the harry potter events that were out could be could be people busy uh, maybe yeah. they're just busy decoding challenges yeah i i hear that you were busy decoding and get, getting it wrong and getting it wrong and getting it right and then getting it wrong <laughs> that's pretty much how it happened <laughs> <laughs> it uh it, it's it uh it took a while i uh, i was i worked on it way too much like where normally I would go out and play some ingress for work. It was decoding, trying to decode and, you know, reading comments and going in and, and trying different things and catching clues. Yeah. And it's, it's like one of those, one of those puzzles where it's like, you kind of have it early on, but you don't really even know that just because it's nice. like, well, I don't have a passcode here, you know, and it's, it's close. I kind of see something here that it should be this or that. And, uh, there's a couple things in the challenge that actually aren't red herrings, but you know, it's, it's like normally when you're doing, uh, like, I, I'm not going to give away too much, um, really not anything, but just in general, like passcodes, you're used to a lot of times where it's like, you need a number for a spot that it'll spell it out. Mm -hmm. like a word um and so if it has maybe multiple numbers spelled out but one's not used or something it gets a little confusing and you're like ah and then apparently i put in just quickly i put in the wrong number and so but it was the like in my head it was the right passcode 
but I just put in the wrong number in the wrong place. And I was like, oh man, I, I was sure that was it. Like everything <laughs> matched up in my head to the clues and everything. I was like, this has got to be it. Like what else could it be? Translation problem between your brain and your fingers. Yeah. So like I, I went to work and all day I'm like thinking about it at lunch. I'm like doing stuff. And like after work, I went ahead and just like started from the beginning and actually uh, made this um, like at lunch, I printed out the challenge and was just eating my lunch, r- basically notating the thing for the no- There's a thing where you have to kind of count out these things mm-hmm. without giving it away. Um, and so I was doing that. And then finally, when I, when I got back to work at the end of the day, I, I actually pulled up Photoshop and just pulled out the images and went pixel by pixel counting this thing across and i was like that is the answer i had like i was like that was it and so i i was just like well i'll try putting it in in all caps just in case and it went through and i was like are you joking (laughs) you're you're crapping me and then um i got home and at home um I had it still up in intel from when i put it in in the morning and that's when i noticed that i had that one number wrong and i was like oh my god like if i just seen that i would have had it this morning and still it wouldn't have been on the leaderboard but now did you put in yours do you submit yours through the intel or i did i submitted it through oh. the intel and there was a there was a bug that that was happening where if you submitted it through the intel it didn't get on the leaderboard i don't know if it didn't register at all or just didn't keep the time but I feel like it's something to do with time because they went back after they, they fixed the bug. And so people after that who were submitting it should be able to have gotten on the leaderboard. Yeah. But I, they I, couldn't go and check. Check. Yeah, I got a feeling that they just didn't expect the people to submit it via the intel. They were probably figuring, no, everybody's just going to use a scanner. And then somewhere along the line, somebody said something like, oh, crap, I guess they can put it in there. Yeah. And they, they probably weren't time stamping it. Well, I believe that. on the actual, like, first post it even says like go put it in the intel and in general you know that just means in the scanner wherever yeah but it's a decoding challenge you're probably on your computer doing it and yeah. so it's much easier to just you know throw it in there than pull up your phone and and go find it on the you know the store or wherever it is and, and like put it in there so i was i was hoping they'd make it where you could like go back and at least put it in and get on the scoreboard now but of course it says you have already entered in this code. You yeah. Know? So I don't know if that's maybe something they, they want to change because who cares if you have 50 of the, well, I guess you could hand them out, but you could hand yours out anyway if you can drop it. I just assume it's media. You can drop it. I haven't tried. Yeah. And from what I read, and, and I didn't do the decode challenge, but from what I read, they, they started a second leaderboard and they addressed the issue and they're going to put people onto the second leaderboard, but they're going to keep the first leaderboard um, and so somehow you're not going to lose what you've done. Now you might not be at the top of the leaderboard because it doesn't count you in the top ten or uh, whatever. You know, if you put it in like you did uh, right. on the on the intel. Uh, there, it sounds like there's a couple people. Uh, at least what I saw, there were three people that got it under an hour. Yeah. Uh, one guy got it in just under 15 minutes, and then that was Random Isaacs. SQL got it in about 27 minutes, and LepiR64 got it in 50 minutes. So there's some pretty handy decoders out there. I think those are the guys we probably want to make sure we have around for anomalies and things like that. Yeah, yeah. And I know, like, I don't even know what the prize is. Like, for <laughs> getting, it's like, code. I wasn't really worried about the prize so much, but I do like the idea of, like, keeping track of like what i did through the whole event if i do them all or whatever Mm -hmm. and and just you know have my times and so i feel like that kind of sucks that like i won't have that for the first challenge and it's it's holidays like i may get busy and that may be the only one i i have a chance to even try yeah um so that was kind of frustrating but you know things happen and if they can't it's like they can try to do something to make it work, like check everybody's inventory. But if they don't have the times, they don't have the times. Yeah. And besides maybe, I don't know, putting up a form to say, hey, submit uh, a screenshot if you happen to take one at the time. And if it has the time, we'll use that. But like I checked my screenshot and it's like, well, it doesn't have a name anywhere on there. So there's no yeah. way to prove that it was me that did it. 
So it's it's like I think they could actually make it worse by trying something like that. Um, and the, <laughs> the only thing I could think of that that and like this won't satisfy because the people who did get it in on the first one, but if you added like a fourteenth challenge, now the people who put it on the first, it's like well, we, yeah, they we, well, did we yeah. yeah, we we were there. Yeah, you're kind of so, damned if you do, damned if you don't. Yeah. So, so what oh, else did you do this week? Um, this week there it's been really light ingress wise. Actually, I've just been trying to get um some ap and i am out of resonators like constantly right now like because it's Hmm. it's like i don't really have time to like sit around and hack so it's like (laughs) i I, luckily i all my uh q caps are uh farming uh heat sinks so like i've been just tossing those left and right on on portals just to get some extra gear you get to first did you get to first saturday no, I didn't. My wife's birthday was on Sunday, oh, and that's, so I good reason. Yeah, I'd kind of planned to go, but then it was just like, you know what? Like, I'm gonna stay here, and you know, it's you know, it's, it's a little bit of AP lost, but uh, it's well worth it to uh, spend some time with my wife, and uh, she had a good birthday, so that's what counts. That's good. That's good. How about you? What else have you been up to? Uh, Getting fielded over. Getting fielded over for the first time in a long time, but it, the good thing is it's a blue field. So, um, yeah, th- things kind of backed off since we we hit our two hundred, and uh, we've just we kind of taken a little bit of a break. Like you said, it's it's holidays, but still kind of getting in there. And uh, I put in my stats in uh, player stats, and it changed from me hitting sixteen at the end of twenty twenty to. 2024 so yeah i I slowed up quite a bit (laughs) (laughs) and i I think i think it has some problems sometimes because the first time i uploaded it it said i was level eight so i'm gonna re-upload it again it's okay level 15 so so i'm right in the middle of the pack i noticed you're at the total bottom of the list but but you got the little wings you got the little wings so oh oh like level and stuff level yeah it listed you it listed you last so i was like yes That's okay. That's okay. I'll, I'll get back up there in another three years. <laughs> Hopefully, it'll be yeah. sooner. But Hopefully it is the holidays, going. and yep. we have this cool thing now on the website. If you're looking for a a interesting present to gift to some of your agent friends, you can actually get a a badge on the Agent Academy with your own passcode, and it's only five dollars, and you can give it out to as many people as you want. Uh, but I, I mention that because we did have um, Operation Essex got one. And so you can now get an Operation Essex badge on your Agent Academy profile. And you can go to the website. We'll, we'll link to this in the show notes so you can see uh, their badge. And there's information on how you can get in touch with them and, and get in their Operation Essex room and, and get the badge. So fun stuff. Fun holiday yeah. stuff. And, and, um, and, and if you're really good, give it to your wife that doesn't play. That way she can give it to you. So you didn't give it to yourself. Right, but you end up with it. Yeah, no, you can get one for yourself too. You can put it on your bio oh, okay. card. How cool is that? You can, you can put I got it, I got room on the back of mine. I'll just put it on there. Yeah, you put a QR code, <laughs> and now you have a. It gives you a digital badge. So what's this um, PA Chapeau stuff? I just saw his name, and I haven't actually read. This yeah, one. I think that came out like six o'clock this morning, and they updated it about uh, I don't know two o'clock. Uh, so in the community forums. Um, there was a post that it was titled Round 5, Valley of the Dead. And it said, uh, Truth Seekers, I'm led to believe that this Tessera has been released. I've heard a few speculations where this piece might be, but I am always prepared to be surprised. No clue was given to me. We probably have to wait for other discoverers to report back to their findings. And then he said something about a mountainous area or something like that. So evidently there's a new Tessera out. Um which I, I'm surprised. I mean, somebody may have found it already, but on those deals, I think that it seems like they release them at, you know, at my time, you know, midnight, one o'clock in the morning. So by the time I get up, somebody's found it already. Right. But maybe they're maybe they're shifting that around a little bit. Maybe they're gonna release it at a better time for other people. Well, and so guesses to where it is. I'm going with Death Valley. Death Valley would be a good guess. 
Uh, the Dead Sea might, might be a good guess. Um, I, I don't know. We have any agents out there uh, near the uh, National Park, the Death Valley National Park, that can go check? Just go hack whatever you can when it opens. I'm pretty sure it's closed yeah. right now. Yeah, don't go out there right now. Um, I don't know if anybody has found it. Um, but if you have, let us know. Well, that's pretty cool. That'll be interesting to see where that pops up and and uh, who wins it. Enlightened. And there's also December FS. There was a, a tweet from Brian Rose. Mm-hmm. And this something is... About, go ahead. Something about prototyping a new lightweight event forum for portal control at the, that they put out in the L.A. Uh, first Saturday event. So I figured you were in L.A. first Saturday event, but since you said you didn't go, um, I don't know. I don't know exactly what it's all about. Uh, some of the people said it looked like some of the um, older uh, format that they used for anomalies. Um, so I'm, I'm not sure. It just seems, you know, first Saturdays, they just don't have a whole lot of structure. I mean, they're all kind of different. It's it's kind of <laughs> wind trading, um, but yeah, it's, no, absolutely, yeah. And so maybe they're trying to give it a little more structure. Uh, you know, give them a goal or something. Well, and for some reason, I thought that was in the show notes, but maybe I read it somewhere else. There was a um, a post somewhere from I believe Brian Rose or someone with Niantic that was talking about. Uh, mission days in the future that they're working mm-hmm. on. Um, uh, maybe that's part of the schedule somewhere down here. Am I skipping ahead? Yeah, down in the schedules okay. they were talking about that. Yeah. So, so that they worked on a way where they could do it without having agents have to uh, basically run it. And so maybe that was part of this event too. Um, mm-hmm. Possibly also more testing for the anomalies, which we'll talk about in a little bit because there's something else that goes along with that with, yeah. with the field tests they did. Uh, earlier, yeah, it seems like they're they're moving the last. I don't know. Well, I would say since Madison has been to move their people away from having to do so many things and letting the community do more things, or making it automatic or automagic. Right, um, right. Which I, you know, if that works, I'm all for it. It's it's when it doesn't work that the crap hits the turbine. Yeah, and then all they can do is. Do their best, right? Yeah, like yep. at the, at the sorry. field test, you know, things didn't really go like they planned, so they went ahead and gave the badge out to people. So that's good. I ended up getting the badge because of it, so I was thankful. I don't know if some people were upset that I got the badge or not, or that, you know, not me yeah. specifically. But. but but to their credit, I mean, they're not doing as much, well, you know, sucks to be you type stuff. Yeah, it didn't work. Sucks to be you. Yeah. Yeah. Deal it's, with it. It's not like the 13 Dreamer thing. It's... Was something totally yeah. different. Ah. <laughs> uh, also, new edition of the IATC. Still mm-hmm. not, um, not, not uh, yeah, not official. Not even. What's the word? Like Niantic does not approve of it. They have not come out and said they approve. It's not of canon. It. Yeah. So, you know. But uh, I, I had looked at looked at IITC for a while. Like a lot of players, you know, I. Got it on my device. And I just sort of let it go. I didn't pay much attention to it, and then I happened to see uh, an article that was uh, all about IITC and uh, how it's kind of its history. It actually came out of a, a Fev Games uh, history of Ingress series, and they had a bunch of that stuff in there. And uh, if you are out there and you were thinking about using IITC, and you First try, I was like, no, geez, I got to put in Grease Monkey and I've got to put in scripts or I got to do this, I got to do that. Now's the time to get in. So, Zelly Belly, now's the time. She still uh, won't use it. If it yeah, she still itself. won't use it. She's a, she's a purist. Um, but it's been out there for a while. I mean, it was out in 2013, and the guy who put it out probably is related to Zelly Belly because he, he walked away from it real quickly. Um, but that's when he kind of figured out it might be pushing some of the terms of service. Uh, John Atkins then picked it up for about three years in 2016, and that's probably the one that most people are familiar with. And then he backed away from it, saying, I'll only update it. And then, of course, when they changed Intel, they changed the address. It kind of had a problem, and they had to do some fixes. Um, As of now, November 2018, it got picked up 
by a program by a guy out of all places, Russia. Yeah, the Russian mob has a hold of it, I guess. <laughs> uh, so, Modos one night one eighty nine picked up the development of it, and he's the one who seems to be doing a lot of it. Kind of gave it a new brand, so it's called uh, IITC CE, the Community Edition. And there's all kinds of flavors of this that's out there. Um, but I would say this is the easiest one because if you're wanting to get it on your desktop, um, I would suggest you go out and search, Google search for IITC button, B-U-T-T-O-N, IITC button. And basically what it does, it sends you right to the Chrome store, puts an extension, puts the button up there, and away you go. So it's so much easier than it was uh, putting it in before where you had to put in scripts and things like that. Um, and it still does pull some scripts. Um, pretty much, I would say, the standard scripts. I haven't seen it pull any of the ones that are some people think might be you know, breaking the terms of service. Player tracker's in there. Uh, Player tracker I don't is think, in there? Yeah, it is, it okay. is in there. I think that's one that's been there for, for almost the whole time. It has. Um, that's one of the ones that I feel is, is sort of borderline. Yeah, it is data scraping in a way. So I I, I don't know. And it, and like, you know, the whole like data scraping term, like I'm, I think more concerned about just the fact that it's like, can really pinpoint someone's location for, you know, three hours yeah. movements for, you know, I think it's three hours that it tracks back, which, which is just, you know, that's, that may be a little too much yeah, for, for a game. Uh, Cause someone can find you. You know, if you've been out for a couple hours, <laughs> it's pretty easy to figure out where you are. Yeah, where you're going next. Yeah. So, um, but I, I guess I was just thinking, like, I haven't looked at the community edition at all. So take what I'm about to say with, like, a grain of salt. Like, the other version, I felt like you could see the code fairly easy because it was just, mm -hmm. like, scripts that you could basically copy and paste and look at. And I don't know if this one is. No, I don't. This one's and, not so much uh, because it's it's all kind of bundled as an extension. So once you once you put the extension in, it just opens up and says, "Here's all the scripts. Which ones do you want? Click, 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 and away so, you go." So how worried are people about there being something in that script that that normally wouldn't be an issue, mm -hmm. but the fact Could that be. maybe it's sending data to you know who uh, the, Russian the, mob. the people who, who the created mob. it that could be going into a database and being used as something else and it's yeah. like if you get all these agents from both factions using a system like that um, I don't know I just I guess I'm just saying be careful there's there's things out there that aren't you just got to be careful it's, it's yeah. the internet it's a new world uh, those internets are dangerous the, the, the tubes dangerous. the tubes but um, yeah the other thing that, that's similar to that is I've, we forgot to mention it last week, but there was a ingress advent calendar out there that looked uh, pretty official. I mean, until you like look close at the you know the logo says unofficial and it says down in the footer unofficial, but it, it looks you know really nice and and apparently there's like an app that you download to like push your data to them so they can see if you've completed these challenges or something. Hmm. And that's another one where I'm like, um, Hey folks, let's don't be going out and installing, you know, random software on our phones that yeah. sends your data to people. Like that's just not smart in general. Come on. He's from Russia. It can't be bad. And, and I did get official <laughs> word from uh, Krug, uh, official that he has no clue about it. he's never heard about it because uh, there was something on there about prizes from niantic or something like that but yeah. I, i'm assuming that's like prizes that they have from anomalies or where whatever the prizes are that they're going to be yeah. about it is not in endorsed that's the word i've been that's searching there, for there's a word officially endorsed <sighs> by <laughs> mine's like a steel trap just mm. all right so be wary. I mean, and that that goes to like all tools. Like, yeah, uh, both factions have tools you can log into. There's in, in the olden days there was uh, tools that people logged into that seemed um, very benign at the time, but their technology increased and people left those tools. But three years down the road, all of a sudden these tools are doing things that you would yep. never sign up for, but you were signed up in years and years ago and. 
lo and behold, that, that day is going to get out and you could get banned. So just just be wary, be careful out there with with um, websites, except for the Agent Academy podcast. Well, of course, we're, we're, we're almost officially endorsed. <laughs> almost <laughs> officially not endorsed. Um, <laughs> But we also don't collect any uh, data like that. Like no, you just put we, in we don't collect name. your data at all, unless unless you post. Yeah, there may be some like Google data being grabbed, but that's just Google Analytics. I don't know if I've ever put Google Analytics on there. I'm sure I have. That would be something hmm. that I would do. Just would be something because. But anyway, um, uh, so that's all the CE edition stuff, right? Yeah. Yeah. And I, I've used the desktop version. It seemed to be fine. I didn't put it on my phone yet. So now I'm scared. Thank you. I'm, I'm going to have to take it no, all off. And- like, I'm sure it's fine. <laughs> but I just don't just, know. Just some guy in Russia that's just collecting stuff, you know. I would say check check the site and stuff and see if it's open source. Like, yeah. see if you can look at the code. Because if people can look at the code, then someone's going to find something. And that makes it much safer mm-hmm. for you. Not well, that there can't be something yeah. still there and someone miss it, but... You're much safer that way. It's still there. I mean, it's it's. He took over the fork on GitHub. Um, oh, so, it's, it's all uh, the codes on GitHub. Yeah. Okay, so it's so, probably pretty good then. It's probably pretty good. I yeah. mean, I, I can't I can't speak for it, but I mean, I think one of the, the, mainly what you have to worry about, I think, in that those cases are um, at least the old one. You could download basically third party scripts mm-hmm. to run in IATC, and those are the ones that. You know, if no one's looking at it, and if you don't know how to look at it, the yeah. buyer beware. But uh, yeah, th- this is probably big enough that you don't have. Any- Besides, they screw up and they do like because the article did mention that there was one time that people got banned because uh, it was overloading uh, Niantic servers. Hopefully, that yeah. wouldn't happen again. But you always take. You never chance. know. Yeah, that's that's the risk you take, and it's unofficial. So speaking of something that is official. official, old Hank Johnson, I don't know how you feel about this, no green metal. Yeah, uh, that's the first one. You that gotta, is, if you're going to get it, get it before the nineteenth. Is that so, when it goes away? Evidently, it's it's in the store till the nineteenth. Uh, what we're talking about is if you haven't been to the store on your scanner, uh, there is a Hank Johnson bundle, and I think it only runs you a little over thirty thousand. Uh, CMU, uh, but you it's get a Hank twenty Johnson. bucks, roughly twenty yeah, bucks. Yeah, twenty bucks. So you get a an app metal. You get uh, forty bursters at your level, ten resonators at your level, twenty power cubes at your level. Uh, you get three rare heat sinks, rare multi hacks, couple of portal shields, and the three nice things: two Aegis shields, two Adas, and two Jarvis. And now, it will be there till the 19th unless Niantic caves to pressure that they're getting in, in the community because there are quite a few agents uh, that are upset about this pack because it has items that they said they wouldn't put in the store. And I'm sure they view it as, well, this is basically selling an anomaly loadout card with the metal. Yeah. And so, therefore, those sort of things don't matter. Um, personally... <laughs> Because you can only buy it once, right? I I'm guessing that's true. Like I don't know what you would do with six Hank Johnson. If anyone can change the course of the game with this item pack, they are a much better ingress player than I am. I mean, <laughs> sure you can do some stuff, but in all of that, I I just can't. I don't feel like that's some overpowered yeah like bundle. And I know people are still like it's you know it's just a it's slippery slope and that sort of thing. Yeah, I don't see any very rare link amps in there, so I it's um I don't know. Just just know that there are some people that are upset about it. Yeah. Uh, quite well, a few it, people, so Yeah. And, and it looks like they're putting a lot of things that are I don't want to say pay to play. Uh but I know we've talked here about, you know, if in, if they want to make a little bit of coin, they can do this. A little bit of coin, they can do that and Maybe we're seeing some of those things. Now, um, now, one thing I would say is I think it would, I think it would benefit them if they had just done the metal. Mm-hmm. Like I don't like to me, 
the price isn't the price is too high for me to pay for that gear. I would want to buy possibly the metal just to support them, but part of me doesn't want to buy the package because of the gear tied to it. So if they sold the metal for ten bucks or maybe even fifteen, like I would potentially buy that. I don't care about that gear so much. To me, that's not enough gear to like really bat an eye over. You know what I mean? It's like the packs that everybody were mad that they put out before. I was like, who the hell is buying that? Like, like yeah. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I don't appreciate well, gear enough or something that I'm just well, like. Well, and you and I have been around for a long time. You got to think about that player that, you know, just hit level eight, you know, first time. Uh, that's That's a bit of a score for them. Yeah, but it's still pretty It's not expensive. a big score. <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, I don't know, maybe I mean, I'm cheap. Maybe it comes down to I'm just <laughs> flat out cheap. No, I, I think I think it's you you know, you're kind of like me. I mean, you've got you've got some um you've got your uh capsules that are breeding things left and right, and so you you know, you don't have to really go out and and you know, hack a bunch to get stuff. You can kind of survive except for your dying on resonators um yeah it's it's those that are in areas you know that they don't have a quantum capsule so you know they've they've got to get well, out there and hit the streets holler at me i'll give you one or two because <laughs> but i mean i've bought um resonators before you know there was like a uh, a field i was doing where i was like oh my god i ran out of and i just needed something to throw on there i didn't need an eight yeah. Um, and so I had to divvy up and buy, you know, a little, uh, the builder pack or which, whichever the little pack is. And I was like, ah. like, I, I am cheap in that, that I'm like, oh man, that's just. Well, on first Saturday, you got to have a whole bunch of them. So yeah. it's like, yeah. I, I have I, bought a pack on FS because you run out of gear yeah. like, so quick. Um, but I guess it's just the eights i so i guess part of it too is i live in an area where i don't i can't use the eights enough like i have way too many eights i no one's tearing stuff down so i don't have to put eights on portals i only can put one on anyway uh, yeah. i there's nothing for me to blow up so by the time i do find something to blow up my q caps have already rebuilt that arsenal and so yeah, I guess maybe I'm speaking from a place where it's 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 probably a different gameplay than other areas where well, you need to have a couple Q caps making you know some fours and some twos and yeah. seems like such a waste. But I mean, I think I have an empty Q cap right now, just like going. Well, there you go. But but some the hell? Well, but I don't have any resonators. But, oh no, I do have one that I have some resonators in. There you go. But there's only like fifty or sixty, so I, I'm waiting for ninety six. Yeah. Before I start. Well, I'm about like you. I mean, I've got so many eights, and there's not not a lot of battle in this area. So, you know, if I'm going through some town, it's like, okay, I'm a, I want to get the AP for lighting these up. I'm just dropping one eight on each one of them as I go through. You know, and being nice to the to the local resistance, I guess. There. Yep, they can come and they can finish it up, or the frogs can come in and blow it up. I don't care. I'm just being nice. No, I and. It's uh, part of like the gear thing is, is from recursing and, you know, I, I'm sure the locals hate me right about now because it has been shit link city. Like if it, if it shows, it throws and, and it normally it's not a big deal because the area I play in normally there's like no one in it. It's like me and one other player every once in a while, but he just kind of dips a toe over in this area, but I just happened to be on the other side of town and I was just like tossing links out and I was like, Oh man, that one went pretty far. I didn't even realize I had pulled this key out. I mean, it was, it was almost oh, crap. Nashville, all the way across the cell like far. And someone was, was mentioning in our slack. He was like, I'd really like to field, uh, you want to <laughs> take this down? It's like, uh, yeah, no, I don't mind. <laughs> Sorry now, when that. you when, now when you recurse and you go back down to levels, uh, are you still able to use eight gear, or you're back down to one gear, two gear? No, you're a one gear until you get to eight. So you have yeah. like eight gear in your inventory, and you can't use it. Well, I'm level eight. I mean, I'm almost. Yeah, but I mean, when you recursed, you'd have like yeah. a level eight. Yeah. So it, it, it's a bunch of dead weight. Yeah, it, it makes sense. Um, if you're not planning to like burn to eight in you know a couple days. 
um, you might want to just go ahead and like trade out those eights to people who need them that may throw you some ones and one to fours kind of thing. And yeah. that'll, that'll speed up your leveling at the same time as uh, getting rid out. of some of your gear. Yeah. Out some room. And because leveling up, it, it really does help at those levels where you get those those little packs of gear. I mean, you see that stuff pop up and you're like, oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Need it. And those passcodes that you that you know six months ago you're like ah, I'm not gonna put that passcode in it's a bunch of <laughs> low level gear you're like now's the time but then I'm like oh man I can't do that because those are gonna give me level specific stuff and so I need to save those till I'm eight when I won't use them <laughs> <laughs> yeah you'll uh, save them for a time that you won't use like so you just see me just rolling around and load out cards uh, oh, good okay so. <laughs> Um, more purchasable stuff, which is, which is coming. And, uh, I guess the last thing with the Hank Johnson in-app metal, I don't even know if we mentioned that that's what it was. Uh, Hank, you get the metal and it's Hank Johnson, a nice green metal. Uh, and if it goes well, so if a lot of people do purchase it, they plan on doing that monthly, bringing back, uh, another badge and another pack. So I guess part of me is worried about okay well if they come out with um a subscription which we're about to talk about yeah and then they come out with new items like the uh, avatars which we're about to talk about if it's like a monthly thing all of a sudden you're talking 20 bucks how much is the subscription five ten who knows and then like a little pack here or there it's like i don't know about 30 40 bucks a month like yeah like i'm good with the 15 to 20 that's kind of like my old school playing MMOs, right? Like I can do like, I think that's cool. I, I will support the game for that, but I don't know. Maybe it needs to be one thing that's that. And each month it's like this month that you get the, the badge and the one of the avatars and you know, the extra locker or whatever they're, they're doing for the subscription, put that all together into one bundle, like one subscription thing. How much? How much do you think uh, Pokemon players, on average, spend? I, I mean, think I I don't know. Like I spent a lot early, because to me the only thing you buy in oh I'm thinking Harry Potter. <laughs> okay, well I, don't know I, I guess that too. Uh, um, but early on, to me, it's it's all space, right? It was mm-hmm. like there's no way any sane human can play this game and enjoy it without space because it is just so much management and throwing stuff away constantly that um, I bought like a bunch of space like early on and then really haven't bought anything since then. Like you get enough coins for doing dailies and other stuff that um, you don't really need to. And then my cheapness comes in where I'm like, I like keys aren't worth it. You know, I'm like, nothing's worth it. <laughs> nothing's worth that price. Um, but I'm just wondering thinking, if they're trying to. I'm just wondering if they're trying to, you know, kind of get them on an even keel. That, you know, we're making X number of dollars off our Pokemon players. We should be making that much off our Ingress players. Yeah, and I, you know, one of the things I was saying, well, you know, sell more space. But then I noticed I didn't know how much space was in the other games, but apparently it's two thousand is what you can buy up to. Uh, so we're already there, right? So. Yeah. I don't know if it's a an engine issue, a data storage issue, or just that's what they decided on early on was what they thought was fair gameplay size is to have 2,000 spaces. But maybe add on another 2,000 viable spaces in ingress, mm-hmm. whether it's a capsule that can grow as you buy more storage in it. Um, but I don't think 4,000 items... Um, is like that's to me that's not overpowering yeah I think that's what you need to do unless you have a um, because you can do the same thing and say like you can buy an anomaly bag that you can put gear in but you can only pull it out during anomalies or it's it's got a time it's got a time limit on it it goes for a month yeah and, and everything in it goes away Right, right. Just basically you're saying, because that's why you need the extra storage, is for anomalies and, and maybe some other events where you, you got to shuffle stuff around, uh, keys for 
big fields and things like that. Well, then you've got you should have community support. So if you got players on your faction that you know can hold stuff for you for a while, as long as you're careful and it doesn't look like you're you know using them as a backpack. <laughs> uh, but I mean that's part of the game, and that that's kind of a hard line to walk sometimes. You know, yeah. is it, is it a backpack if I have my son or daughter that plays once every year? Oh, I don't know. Yeah, it's almost like, um, like when I was trying to get my my kids and my wife into playing, like I would all the time go, "Hey, hold this for me." They still have crap that I don't even like. They probably have keys that I actually want, but it's such a hassle to try to get it, get them to give it to me now because it's like, oh yeah, I got to update that every time, right? Because they never play it anymore. So it's like, so it, I don't know if that's like their idea is like, well, if it's really like a relative that never plays, you'll quit using them anyway. Oh, so. yeah, that's true. That's true. I guess if it's, if it's still in redacted, it should go away. The gear or the, yeah. Oh. Yeah. or if, if, if that's the only way you can get to it is redacted to start with. You can have another 2000 set of gear if you can open up redacted. <laughs> but, um, so Anyway, so the first thing is Hank Hank Johnson, mm-hmm. um, The Rock. No, that's a different Johnson. No, different Johnson. But they're, they're pretty close. I'm pretty sure they're yeah. both of them are pretty tight. Anyway, half of the double Johnson. Uh, purchasable avatars. So, yep. the original blue, the original green, and, and toast. toast. Yep. So uh, we talked about skinning before, and I guess this is well moving that direction just a little bit. But uh, and I don't know exactly how much those run. Um, yeah, that hasn't been released yet. Yeah, and so that'll be in uh, the two point three nine update. My guess is, I'm gonna say five bucks. It's a good guess. Piece. Like, and yeah, I assume it'll be a you pick one. And pick one, put it in, you're done. You can't switch back and forth. I I feel like you could buy three, but I feel like it's gonna either be like. Um, buy you know one for five to seven, or buy all three for ten to twelve or something. You know, yeah. like. Uh, but I don't know. Well, actually, no. I take that back. I don't. Well, I guess they wouldn't care if you picked blue if you were enlightened or green if you're. But would you buy that? I don't know how many people would actually buy all three. Honestly, I don't think I'd buy a green. I mean, so, I don't even know if I'd buy toast. So I, yeah, I might buy toast. Yeah, I don't. I don't know if I don't know. I'll have to see what they look like in the prices to figure it out. Maybe it's just a buck a piece. Who knows? I don't know. Is that we'll worth even out. putting in the game at that point? <laughs> speaking Micro of transactions. Speaking of not in the game anymore. What? Uh. Well, well, we come back to that one. Um, Brian Rose seems like he's been putting a number of things out there lately um, in a community forum. Recently, he said that we're not going to uh, do a, another key locker in the short term. Uh, I guess uh, kind of referring back to the key lockers they did, did a while back. Uh, working on a monthly subscription program that include additional inventory space as well as other benefits in 2020. So in the next year, you might get your, your wish there, Goonie. You might uh, get well, a bigger I don't know sack. that's my wish. Well, it's part I mean- of your wish. I guess it depends on how it's done, right? Like, I don't know yeah. if I get, like, a... Well, you pay a subscription and you get an extra 2,000 slots for that. And then and if you, you don't, don't pay your subscription, you now have to get under your total before you can pick up stuff like it is now, right? Yeah. Like, I, I don't know if that works in my mind. I don't think yeah, that's... That would be the- that would be the humane way to do it. You know, if you want to be mean, it's like, yeah, you didn't pay your subscription, all that shit disappears. Right. So would would it be an extra capsule or something? Maybe the capsule just yeah. locks until you pay it. Like so, it's just like Ooh. extortion, Ooh. or I don't know something. It just doesn't seem right. Now, if it was like you pay a subscription and then every month you get, uh, you know, five. I don't even know how many they would do. I don't even know how much the subscription would be. Two hundred slots a month or something. But I don't know if they could do that because then that would have to stop at some point. Yeah. Or yeah, you would have players with 
you know, 50,000 slots and players with 2,000, which then yeah. that becomes a real issue, I think. Like, no, then figured, you either have to, and then you could never catch up, right? Because Yeah, it's going to change. It would change the balance at that point, the balance of the game. I figure they're going to pick a, a number, you know, like you said, 500, 250, whatever, and the subscription gives you that extra ability. And it would only make sense, and they would say, you know, if you don't keep on the, if you decide not to keep up on the subscription, just just like you've hacked over two thousand on the last hack, it, you know, you got the red red numbers uh, until you get it down. Yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't like that. <laughs> just in like my gut anybody. feeling is, I, I just don't like the feeling of that. Like, I want to support them and give them money, but I just don't, I, I don't like that. I don't know. That's weird to me. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Sounds, sounds like you need to just start sending envelopes of money to Krug. You know, don't put your name on anything. Just just, just send money to him. Uh, you know, I take that back. Because <laughs> <laughs> in my head, I'm trying to think of how that works. And, and, like, just how I'm used to Ingress, it just feels like I would rather have, like, an item that had that. But, you know, I play another game oddly enough, uh, called Black Desert Online, and it's an MMO. And, you know, honestly, they actually do that same thing. You can, you can it's free to play, mm -hmm. but you, you um, can buy a value pack, I believe it's called, and it lasts 30 days. And for that 30 days, your inventory space and your character and all your banks uh, get extended a certain amount. So you have mm -hmm. more room to do stuff. Uh, there's other things. Uh, here's some other ideas. I guess if they're going that route, maybe maybe they are looking at some of these games like that that do that, um, that are profitable. Another thing they do is their auction house. Like you go around, you know, killing monsters and you get gear. Well, you can take some of that gear and sell it in the auction house. Well, there's a tax in the auction house. Uh, 30%. Ooh. Unless you have a value pack, then there's no tax on you. So maybe there's something to be said for if you have the subscription, uh, you know, do the inventory stuff, but maybe um, items in the store are 15, 30% less or something. Yeah. So not only um, are they getting money for the subscription, they're encouraging you to buy more stuff, which you may Generate do because cash. you get it at 30% and it's stuff maybe you wouldn't buy otherwise. Mm -hmm. So it's it's kind of a win win for them. Yeah. I don't know. That's another idea. I think I think uh, like what's in the capsule. We should bring that back to the show. But just uh, like <laughs> show me the money. Like we'll have uh, Jerry Maguire stuff. Like let's figure out how to make ingress profitable for ingress because that helps vanity us all. Items. Vanity like, items. Start selling those vanity items. Yeah, and get that company you you bought that does the community stuff to make an avatar for your agent that you can change and buy clothes for. It worked for Pokemon Go, right? I, I don't think... Yeah. I mean, would would agents really hate that? People didn't like I it. Don't, don't buy crap. I mean, if, if it's only on my scanner, I mean, how's it going to bother you? Right? You know, I, I don't see that it gives you an advantage in the game. It's not going to mess up the balance. And it's your option whether... I mean, hell, make it an option whether you even have that avatar or not. Yeah. You can just have the toast guy instead. Like Clippy. Just blink, blink. Just now, if, if you had custom sounds, I could see that that would, could possibly bug people a little bit. But, yeah, something on your screen, that's not going to bother anybody. Yes, I am looking for a cut, Sniper's Dream. Always <laughs> looking for a cut. Send it our way. Because I think merch is the other thing they're missing out on. The store, yeah. is it back up yet? We checked. It appears they're working on a new store. Um, but I think if they sold the right merchandise, they could sell a ton of it. But, At the right um, time. Well, I, I mean, yeah. look look how much merch goes out during an anomaly. I mean, just about everybody buys a T-shirt. You know, if you yeah. make that a quote-unquote an official T-shirt, you could probably generate some cash. And it's it's like... You know, it's almost 2020 here. Like, I'm telling you, we sell a bunch of merch on our site. Well, when I say we we offer to sell, <laughs> we don't actually sell any of it. You're not uh, going to I think retire. We, I think we sold a piece. Um, but sold. it's all drop ship 
up, it's not like the old cafe press days where you have to deal with just cafe press and it's just their option. You can actually have it set up to where you pick between, you know, 50 suppliers to find the best location, the best prices, the best items and the best shirt. So they could do this and just have their artists create incredible artwork that was for each uh, site even and basically work with the local um, POCs to basically say, look, we're going to take over try to take over kind of everything in, in that vein and you know don't do the hotels if y'all don't want to deal with that like just let tell agents hey we're gonna go to this hotel everybody go to that one um and then just deal with the merch that way and have all these cool designs maybe even have the POCs approve it uh because i i don't know i feel like they could make some really cool art and make some money there mm-hmm. uh i anyway. agree so tell me about Brian Rose. You were you started. Uh, uh, Brian Rose. Um, where were I at here? Wait a minute. Here. Is he uh, related to Kevin Rose? I don't know if he is or not. Actually, that was where I already said that because we're talking about the key lockers and uh, inventory space. The one that I skipped over. Uh, something that's coming for Monday. If you like the looks of your Circle K cube or your Lawson Cube, get a picture now because they're going to go away. What? Yeah. Uh, You're making me think, hyper. Yeah. <laughs> not not go away as in you lost them. Uh, they're, yeah, they are going to turn into hyper cubes. Good dig there. Um, that, yeah, good dig. Kevin I, I got it. I got it. I got yeah. it. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, I guess they're just consolidating those, put them together. I don't know. How long ago did we stop having Circle K portals that was what he it's been a while two years a year and a half ago at least there's probably a post about it i mean we were we were really big into um the circle k stuff like trying to figure out why our local circuit circle k (laughs) wasn't like doing the passcodes and stuff it like it was bizarre like so much so that um my secret santa last year gave me a shirt i wish i had it on tonight but it says uh uh, something's afoot at uh, Circle K, and it's like a, it's also true. It's one of my favorite now, uh, tan- <laughs> tangentially ingress shirts, and yep. it's black and red, which are my two favorite colors. And, and the new players would wouldn't have a clue as to what it is when you're saying, you know, I got to go down to Circle K and get a hack and a soda. Right, you know, it wouldn't mean anything to them. Right. Um, oh, and it's but, like, uh, like I have some uh, coworkers that know of ingress, especially now. Like, I think now they're just like, you're insane, Brent. Uh, but, <laughs> well, like, we were at, at a, um, where were we at? It was a pokey uh, restaurant. So it was like pokey, the fish. Oh, okay. And they had um, tea, green tea, Idowin green tea. Uh-huh. And I was showing them, I was like, see, this is the ingress. Like they have a, this a, is brandy, a deal right here, together. Buddy. So, and then I opened the scanner and showed them, you know, the, the I two ends, uh, their logo is, or the item is their logo or their whatever. Yeah, the you know what I'm saying? Of, yeah. Uh, and I, I think that's where stuff is, is cool. And all their stuff is, you know, pretty much green, green tea. So I think I've got a problem with that. Right. They need some blue tea. Somebody, somebody with something blue. They have to get a, a sponsor that's blue, <laughs> and they can call it uh, Smurf Tears. But uh, no, 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 no. You no, got a copyright no. issue. A copyright issue. Well, but they do it in Japanese, and so okay, maybe, maybe it won't trigger the same. The alerts. same way Maybe yeah, we should try be. that on the store. <laughs> See how long before you get a cease and desist order. Right. <laughs> Oh but man! Yeah. Oh, now that might actually work. We're gonna have to find. I don't know. Um, uh, yeah, we'll have to figure that out. We can put that on the cup, and no one will know what it says unless they unless they know Japanese. Japanese, or you just spell it wrong. But, you know, S M U U R F. You know, it's not Smurf. It's pretty close. But be it's like these Smurf. stupid Americans cannot. Yeah, they can't figure it out. Spell in Japanese. That's but awesome. uh, so I, I'm assuming that. Uh, Lawson and uh, of course Circle K a while back of are no longer sponsors, um, so right. the free advertisement on the cubes kind of goes away. Um, so, so now it's going to be hypercubes. Hypercubes. Hypercube. 
Okay. And so well, I can deal with that. So I it'll put them all together. So it's going to be a sad day. I already took pictures of my of my <laughs> my cubes. So do you think they sit in a room for more than ten minutes going, you know? Everybody calls them, you know, like, hey, I need some lawsons. I need some lawsons. Right? It's yeah. like, do they go, is it going to feel the same when people are like, I need some hypers? I don't <laughs> I know. Don't, it doesn't feel right. It does. I think it's just going to be, it's just going to be, I need some cubes. I, some hype? We need some hype? Uh, no. Some H cubes. H cubes. H cubes. Oh, maybe that's cubes. 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 Cube tubes. Tubes. Not, we're just we're gonna get in trouble if we yeah, go too we're, going, we're going bad right now, going so. bad there so yeah your your circle k and lawson cubes are going to mysteriously morph in in about the next week or so um and they probably will do it before the 2020 events start so um, now even the lawson cube loadout cards are going to be uh in demand right just so uh, they can have some hands Maybe yeah. some of these. Ooh, collector's item, collector's item. We're, we're going to be giving these out. So we're going to, we have to figure out when we're going to do our uh, Christmas and holiday episode, but we've got a bunch of swag to give out and uh, we have some other ideas. We just got to talk. We don't really get much yeah. time to actually talk about this stuff. Well, we, we need to figure out a trip so that we can just like drop them as we go. So and we could probably write that off. You know, write that off. You know, put it into the budget for the show. All right, the big budget here in Agent <laughs> Academy. So uh, huge, <laughs> huge budget. No, we blew that on our latest artwork. So oh, okay, <laughs> we aren't going to go there. We don't want to go there. Uh, <laughs> but speaking of going to places, uh, they released out today the 2020 events schedule uh, of sorts. Um, not not real specific, but give you some stuff. Um, so. They're working to finalize the exact locations, but they want to announce what they've got in hand. So let me see if I can screw up these. Perpetua Hexathon. Does that Hex sound good? Ath Hexathlon. Hexathlon. So that's, Hexathlon. There that's you go. a play off the field test. I think so. So is it going to be using similar mechanics that they tested from that, or is this just uh, another... Field you test. know, you know as much as I do, brother. Um, so the Perpetua Hexathlon. Thank you. Wait, can February I say something real quick? 29th. The, so nothing in that says anything about those being Any, anomalies. There's only, so yeah, there's only one. Are there's only one field tests, and yeah. then one anomaly. One anomaly. Okay. So the Lexicon Hexathlon, April 25th in 15 global cities. And the Requiem Anomaly, May 9th in Munich, Germany. So, if oh, you're that's planning out your schedule, you need to make sure that you take off February 29th, April 25th, and May 9th. And February 29th, isn't that the extra day? It is. That's a leap year. Yeah. Now, so, there's some oddities I see in this list i don't know if you've noticed this but okay so the first you, one like when i first saw the list i don't know if you thought the same thing i did probably not because i'm an idiot but i thought <laughs> oh anomalies and then yeah. i saw the names and i was like wait hexathlon that's like the field test and then i looked at the number so 15 is about right if you're doing two weekends but if we're talking one weekend 15's twice the normal right I think so. So, if it is an anomaly that's just using he hexathlon, which I, I don't, I don't, I'm could not this sure be, I could believe that. Could this be the reformed mission days? I don't know because they they said that they were redesigning that. Yeah, and February seems. No, I'm not saying that Niantic always takes a lot of time and and when they're throwing something together mm -hmm. but that feels like too soon to like go well we're re redesigning this whole process to go ahead and have a date yeah I my gut instinct says these are field tests I think you're right 
I I'm I figure by May they should have things figured out. And so maybe that's why they're saying Munich on May 9th. But like I said, they don't have any any cities just yet. Um right. Well, and the other, other weird other thing is Munich. I mean, it could be anomalies and be similar to, you know, the the set last year that ended culminated in Chicago and this one's culminating in Germany. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I can make it to Germany. Can we, can we start a Kickstarter for that or go fund me? I think we should send one of the crew there now. <laughs> we'll send Sally. Being as, yeah, we'll send Sally. Well, she might actually join us. If we send her to Munich, she might actually join us. And it's not that she doesn't want to join us. She's just too busy. Now, May 9th, that's my birthday. So I think well, I There should, you go. That's think, why they did it. I think May I should 9th. go. Now, it's not really, but I can keep that up if you think that'll get me to. Well, now, I'm, I'm telling you, the 29th of February is pretty close to what my birthday was. Mm-hmm. Uh, actually, there's kind of a story there that... I celebrated my birthday on the 27th of February for like 12 years. Is and that because was, you forgot your birthday? You got old? Uh, well, I, I went and pulled out the birth certificate because I was doing an autobiography and it said the 25th. And I'm like, hey, mom, what's the deal? <laughs> She's like, you know, there was a lot of drugs involved in childbirth <laughs> at that time. And so I don't know whether the doctor's handwriting was just really bad or, oh, that's funny. or whether mom just forgot it. So, yeah. So I, I just do the season. I go from the 25th through the 27th and I'll, I'll make sure to hit it. I could see that early on if it's like, Oh crap! How did we get that wrong this year? Well, you, you can't tell them. You got to just keep doing it on that day every year. <laughs> You'll never know. You'll never know. Never yeah, till he till he grabs the actual papers. Like ah. <laughs> oh man! Don't but, don't get one of those DNA tests. You never know oh, what you'll find out at that point. Yeah. Well, I I traced back my family history on Thanksgiving, and I found that I do go back to Germany. So maybe I need oh. to go back to the fatherland in may you know just saying yeah because resistance needs all the help yeah well if we're going to a place we need all the help it's going to be asia because we never seem to win asia although i I will say we we did fairly well a couple times but it just seems like whenever you have anomalies it's like okay europe will probably you know resistance will probably do all right asia okay we're gonna lose that let's see what else happens We'll see. I, that's yep. probably next uh, year after next. Twenty twenty one will be uh, APAC. Yep. And they did mention redesigning mission days process, making it easier and scalable. So I don't know exactly what that means, uh, but that's what they're planning on doing. All right. And planning a few in game events as well, which I assume is, is kind of like the badge events, like the deploy and destroy kind of things. Or maybe like. Uh, the ones that we had for the hack challenge and that kind of stuff. Maybe that's some of those coming up. Speaking of which, uh, new bad guy, the courier. courier. Yeah. Uh, we, we kind of glossed over that a little bit last week with it showing up in like Facebook and Twitter Mm -hmm. headers and stuff. Is there more info about courier? I have not heard. Maybe he's a sneaky little devil. Because I believe he was on the uh, Mission Day at Sea stuff or something. Mm-hmm. So maybe that's why they put him on the banner. Could be. Or maybe like maybe some... they were out at sea and they turned them all into Summer Lacrim. And the bodies are on the ship. Oh, yeah. Still floating around. Still floating around. Could be. I'm just saying. Still floating around. Okay, so we have a call in. Yay! We're going to do it, and here it is. Well, greetings there, fellow agents. This is JBJ Blaze, and ever since the 27th of July of this year, when Harry Potter Wizards Unite released on Android for Canadians... I've had a data plan, and it's small, mind you. I upgraded it for this month because Harry Potter Wizards Unite specifically chugs my limit. And so I've been sticking to Ingress Prime and Pokemon Go, the latter which I primarily play for the Pokestops and the Daily Streaks weekly. And 
ever since then I've gone through a good few portals, been trying to figure out how to charge them and to hack them, make myself a little more cultured that way, and then <laughs> also do my sort of daily poke stopping and hopefully catching the odd Pokemon. And since then I've had a good bit of fun. And hopefully I can use my data these days more for Pokemon Go and more importantly to this show in Grass Prime than for emergency purposes. But thank you and good night. <laughs> That's awesome. I I don't know, I might lose my, my ENL card by mentioning this, I don't know, but yes, yes, one yes, way do it, do it, um do it. To increase your data or decrease the amount of data you're using is look for, and I don't know if this works with Prime. It worked with Redacted, but um, there's apps out there, uh, firewall apps that you can basically turn on to uh, keep images from showing up, which is a lot mm -hmm. of the data you're using. Um, I mean, the GPS is a good bit, but you can kind of turn down a lot of things that that use data and. Um, save as much as you can with those those firewalls and and i don't believe there's any reason why it would be against any kind of tos because all it is doing is you know when when you open up ingress and look at like a, a portal you're just not going to see that image it's just going to yeah. be a blank image as long as they're not doing in-game advertisement i mean it, it shouldn't be a, affecting them that much and that could be one of the things that maybe they want to add is is a a data light version of the game you know it's i i kind of like having nice graphics but i mean you go back to the original and it was just lines and it still worked, and uh, you know, if if it came down to it in an anomaly, I I would probably use a a, a less graphic intense version of the scanner just to get you know the the better um, sit, 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 response sit, sit, out of the scanner. Report. Yeah, I I can definitely see that when you're on ops or trying to do fields in in low bandwidth mm -hmm. areas, it, it would be great to oh, yeah. kind of have that option um i don't know if they go well you know and maybe they could just do this hey here are the settings that you should use on on one of these firewalls and here's some programs that are good for ios and good for android just use these if, if you're having issues with, with yeah. bandwidth um and, and speaking of which i really haven't had prime bomb out on me much lately i haven't at all like it's, it's been great i love the graphics yeah. and I, I pulled it out during a lunch um it was yeah. It was earlier this week with some coworkers who had seen Ingress before Prime, mm -hmm. and I was doing something. They're like, "Oh, that looks cool. What's that?" And I was like, "Oh, this is you know Ingress." It's and they're like, "Oh, what? I might give that another try." You know, so if the graphics alone, go resistance, go resistance. It would be a toss up because one of my coworkers <laughs> is resistance. There you go. She just doesn't play anymore. I need her address. <sighs> Um, no. <laughs> and, um, so, I, uh, you know, if the graphics can get someone into the game, like, that's what we need. We need new, yeah. new players. Um, yeah. but yeah, so I guess that's about the show, unless you got anything else. Um, how about a code? Should we give a code out? Uh, how about a code? So we're going to give you a free code, um, you get one not every episode, not pretty a, much. Not a cold, but a code, C-O-D-E. Passcode. Passcode. Pass badge. My kind of passcode. Now, this is just in your in your uh, Agent Academy profile, and I've been, been kind of starting to work a little more on the site on some of the badge pages so they look a little bit nicer and don't just have this huge badge on them. And okay, I, but, but before you give the code. Yes? We need to have a bet on the response time of JBJ Blaze. 15 seconds. 15 seconds. I'm going to, uh, I don't have as much faith in him. I say it's going to take him 45 seconds before he gets it. 45 seconds. 45 seconds. That's a long okay. time for JBJ. We got to count for the lag, too. Um, oh, yeah, okay. True. So, you know the page, right? You, you better get on that page now. Uh, the code is AA the dreamer AA. Start Go, timer. Jay. Go, Jimmy J. Go, 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 go. <laughs> um, so that will get you a badge on the website. It's just an episode badge. There's other badges strewn out the website. Some of them, uh, I even forget they're there, and I like do something. I go, oh, I got a badge. <laughs> and I'm like, 
Oh, he's got it. There we go. <laughs> so, so he's closer to 15 seconds. <laughs> nice. Work. I'll take his. I'll take his word for it. I'm sorry, JBJ. <laughs> I didn't mean. Didn't mean to doubt you. Oh man! So come back next week. Uh, hopefully, uh, v- v- Agent Vane will be back on. He was, I believe, doing some Goruck. Um, I think it was Goruck uh, recovery. I think he had Goruck, and he was going to be done about seven or eight. And so he's like, oh, "I'm going to be wiped out." Yeah. So, yeah. So don't he, blame him. he may be listening to the show. Who knows? But um, come back. Or I, I say I don't know what day we're going. It's holidays schedule. We're gonna offline. We're gonna uh, talk about uh, another day um, with Vane. We'll actually put it in our our chat, and we'll figure it out, and we'll put it in Telegram as soon as we know a firm day, which may be the day we do the show. Who knows? But we're gonna try to do a, a Christmas episode, um, which should be all holiday, at least lights, all green lights. I think we're doing. Is that like uh, unless you can get some blue lights on that tree? We'll see if you get. I like that green tree. Good stuff and that green wreath. You're killing me. You're uh, killing me, Smalls. I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, good stuff. Anyway, uh, thanks for tuning in this week, and um, we'll see you next time. Everybody have a safe journey. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. <laughs>